So this is kind of like an outdoor rock hound paradise here. Hey guys. <laughs> so, Hi. So that's right. <laughs> I got the mic. We're, we're in quartzite. I'm trying to get used to talking yeah. to Michael. Or what the, he's wearing the mic today for you guys. It's we're at the like QIA. A, yeah, it's called the QIA. In quartzite. There's a lot out here to see, so we got a lot of ground to cover, so we're running. We're running. I'm Hopefully all, we'll stumble across you. that piece that we like. What piece are you? Well, you're the piece. You'll know it when oh, you see it. The that's piece. the yeah. piece. Okay. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta kiss a lot of frogs out here. Rocks and sticks is what people buy. As see, you got a Choya right there. He bought one. Choya cactus. Choya slabs. Look at this. Saguaro ribs. Saguaro ribs, depending on who you ask. This, this is one at uh, this booth, probably one of Christine's favorite, I can tell you right now. So these, the ones with the, these are Choya, these are distinct by the holes in them, and the Saguaro ribs are the ones that look more like ribs, you know. A nice selection. So it takes a while for these tree trees, for this cactus after it dies, to get to this stage. So these are, these are old, and you know, look at this, this is a Saguaro rib right here. I like it. Yeah, very nice, yeah, those are very really nice. Good. This is where a bird has made a nest inside the, oh, the cactus. Boot. There's a boot, they call them. Here's another one. Here's a boot. Oh, yeah. And we're running. So we talked to one vendor already, said it's quieter. Now you wouldn't know that by looking at it. When you come into town, crazy. yeah, it's absolutely insane the amount of cars here. This, this quartzite, the town, goes from in the summertime I can't tell you what the population is, it's only a fraction of what there's here. If you were to look across the freeway there, you would see literally hundreds and hundreds of RVs parked out in the desert on BLM land. It's called boondocking. And you can camp out on BLM land. It's one of the part of the appeals to the vendors that come here is that you can you don't have to pay for accommodations while you're selling, which can really impact your bottom line. Okay, oh, is it gonna go inside the building here? This is a QIA. This is actually how you're supposed to, supposed to sell quartzite, the mineral, but that's not how they spell quartzite here at the town. I just wanted to point out. Come on, we're running. You can find some really good deals here because the miners themselves sometimes come here. But let's run inside. What do you look? What it caught your eye? This right here. So is that amethyst? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a nice lavender amethyst. We're running. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hand the camera to you. Ooh, tourmaline. Yeah, this is one of Christine's favorite minerals. Tourmaline, he's got some aquamarine. Aquamarine, oh, that piece, look at that. This is all from Pakistan? That's incredible. Afghanistan. Afghanistan, okay. So this is the uh, pink one, kind of looks, oops, excuse me, kind of looks like what you're uh, looking for there, right? That pink one? Yeah, that's a gram mine in Afghanistan, that pink one. The Hindu Kush. What about right? the... Um, <laughs> these ones are from, uh, like, these three pieces in the middle. That's from Lagman Valley, Afghanistan. And it's very yeah. pastel, very light colors. That's, that's the only mine in the world which regularly produce that, that light color. So see see the clarity on that. What is that, an aquamarine there? Look at how clear yes. that is. Good grief. Yeah, that's incredibly like, glassy, clear. Oh, yeah. Those are some nice ones. So this is called uh, vast. hydro or petroleum quartz, Yeah, right? petroleum quartz. Ooh, well, I know that's not the best way to view it. But yeah, look no, at that. that still looks really good, actually. Yeah. These are so beautiful. The biggest one you will. Oh, good ever grief. See. Oh, my God. Holy moly. Oh. Wow. I never seen. Wow, I've never. I've only seen them like that. But I can claim this is the biggest one. I believe like you. I've point. never seen anything you can like see it. the other qualities like very low qualities ones bigger but like in this quality where you can see the petroleum wow pakistan, pakistan. Balochistan, oh. a province in pakistan which produce the petroleum ones all the different types of parts fed and parts also come from that same region does that glow wow good grief oh yeah look at that like a spaceship. Oh, that's incredible. But yes. when it's dark, then you oh, like it's imagine. it's like fifty percent now. Right. When it's in a dark room, and I think that's the only fluorescent mineral which you can even see in these lights, like these big lights. Oh, because it's and so you powerful. Have, you have to be in a very dark to see the fluorescent. These mines are now 
from last four or five years. They're not letting anybody. Oh, is that right? Oh, you can't. We used to get it like a lot every year. But from last four years, if you find a whole uh, collection with somebody, we find it otherwise the mine not produce. Really? It's this opalized is, wood. This opalized. is a really rare. Oh, look at this one. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at the rings in there. That's incredible. Oh. Yeah, because the opal is precious and it's in the rings, that makes that one really Wow. Cool. That is a spectacular piece. How long have you been digging this stuff? 20 plus years. Wow. 20 year overnight success story. I was a teacher <laughs> before that, so I'd okay. come out in the summertime and I'd come out on my weekends. Yeah but I retired, so now I'm out there like three months a year. So, oh, that is, which is spectacular. Oh, it's incredible that the opal can form like that inside the Isn't wood. It? Can you get a shot of that one right there? Good grief. So this is all comes oh. from Nevada. Those if you were weren't here and I had the cash, I wouldn't be getting a new that. iPhone. You, you'd be, <laughs> you'd be coming home with opalized wood. You'd be in debt. I bet it's more <laughs> than the phone. <laughs> I'm going to get an idea. Uh, I want to get an idea of these two. Yeah, let's do that. that one and that one. What's really cool about this one here is it's it has the bark, the bark around the outside I know. of it. That is incredible. Well, look at over here. This you can see. And these are from Nevada? Uh, Was that right? Virgin yeah. Valley, Nevada, he said. Look at this one. I know. Look at that. Here, let me come down close. White angle lens. Wait till you guys see this turn around. Oh, when it hits the sunlight. Yeah. Oh. yeah he had some in here. Look at that. All the way through the, the bark, opalized, the rings in it. Oh, that's really incredible. It's my goal to own this piece. So if you're interested, he's out of Chico. Ray from Wood and Opal Enterprises. Do you sell in Tucson? The what? Do you sell in Tucson at all? I'm going to go to Denver this year. I'm okay. To to okay. So if you're looking so for them. Is... Can you see that right there? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's, I know it's hard to say. We're it's shooting, we're shooting blind in the sun, you guys, yeah. but we're trying. <laughs> But uh, just the the, the like rainbow, the, the play of color in this opal. Really incredible. Yeah. Look at that. I know. But it was covered with seventy right. feet. This I'm is this is an art piece oh, here. Yeah. That's very nice. They look like this. They're covered oh, with ash so or clay. A surprise. And then you have to clean it off of that, and then expose the opal and see if it has fire. And you just never know what you're going to get. You never know. It's silicated wood. Silicated. But the opal flows through when it where it can. When you uncovered that one, and it unveiled itself to you, how did you feel when you were looking at that opal? Oh, every was, time did it just, just knock your awesome socks experience. off? Like, oh my God, yeah, what did I find? You know, but you don't really see all of it because you don't see the inside of it. You might see a little color on the end or something, and you know there's something there that's going to be amazing. I mean, it's a treasure hunt. Yeah. Every time you dig something up, it's different. Yeah. I mean, they're burl wood. We find Oh, yeah, it's a burl. Look at that. Once in a while, we'll find a fossil of a camel or a jawbone or <laughs> limbs. You know, you oh, don't, yeah. there's nothing on the outside, but when you slice it, it's beautiful. Isn't it? Yeah, that play of color is incredible. A Facebook site. Okay. That's called Wood and Opal, and I'll post it on there when we get our assigned our booth. Agate jade, uh, black jade from Wyoming, green jade from Indonesia. Actually, come up here. I found some. Oh, look at this didgeridoos. I saw a guy with grape agate, and I think he had a good price, but I'm going to try and find him. We'll see. She's making a cabochon. <laughs> All right, there's so many. Uh, all right, thank you. Right, We're running. You. Next to the chrome, this is from Australia here. This is the chrome kill Sydney. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks like it's lit up. The sun's hitting it perfectly. Yeah, he's got some nice sujulite. Look at this core sample he's got. He shows. Look at this. 
That is, oh my goodness. That's one of the original core samples oh, from 1978. So that's oh, the one you yeah. just, that's like a special. Oh yeah. <laughs> People <laughs> made me at crazy offers on that. Oh like, yeah. It's not for sale. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you understand. I saw him put it in his pocket and I yeah. knew right there. Oh, well, people wow. don't realize this, but 10% of where sucralite is, 10% will actually fluoresce. And it fluoresces orange. All these in here, these will all fluoresce under a short wave. Really? Yeah, but it's orange. It fluoresces orange. Oh! Sucralite is, yeah. it went way up in price. Yeah, because right? I think like, the Japanese yep. were into yep. it. Yep. Yeah. Like that and the Afghans. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, one guy went down there with his dad. They ended up uh, kidnapping. Well, they took took him, and then took his phone, robbed him, took his, his money and everything. But then they kidnapped his dad. Oh, and, you know, and I'm just like, is it worth worth it? Down there? <laughs> yeah, it's like, see, I, I do all the cutting. Oh, you do? do? Oh yeah, I do all the cutting, and then I send it to my friend in Bali, and then he does my silver work for me. Wow, nicely done. That's amazing. Oh man, that piece, oh, I love that. It better without the glass. There's, oh, a, there's wow. a carving too. Oh yeah. Which one? Oh yeah, that. I love yeah. the right coloration on that and the carving, Carvings yeah. This is pretty yeah, easy to work so with compared to other yeah. minerals? It's, it's really hard. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, this is nice looking stuff. This is the stuff that he just got back to me, but there's silver work. Look at how clean this is. I love Bali's work. They have and the really silver, good they've silver. got really good silver. And the Masitsa, that's another one that's hard to get anymore. Oh, is that a jade? Yeah. Okay. And what's nice about it is like, I've got all the material, so I, you know, being the cutter, it's like this is the highest in Jasper right here. That's the one that's far over there. And then this here is your, your shatakite. That's what that polishes up like. And then here's your chrome chalcedony. Look at that. Oh. Nice. And this this is from uh, this is domestic, Utah. right? Utah. Utah. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that jasper. When I, I cut the angle a little bit different on it. Oh wow, that's we got cool once it gets polished up like that. So that's something, every time I come to these shows, it's something new and something that you can't get anymore. Oh, look yeah. at Herkimer. A lot of people know me for that reason. It's like, it's cool. No, yeah. that's a bummer. But I'll make it up in, in Tucson. You coming to Tucson? Okay, yeah. that's where we're from. Oh yeah, where do where, you Where do you sell? Uh, uh, Kino. Kino. Okay. Whoa, the Lucy, That's yeah. from Utah, right? No, it's Ocean Jasper from uh, oh, Indonesia. Is that right? But some people, you know how they make the light boxes out of them? Yeah. So that's why I've got this one cut so thin. Good grief, that is. That's like an like eighth inch. Yeah, but three it's, millimeter. It's, it's one blade. <laughs> it's a blade thickness. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Next up, the Tucson Gym Shows. I'll be out there filming every day, so get ready for lots of gym and mineral content coming up.